Hey guys, some new information has surfaced regarding the COD 2017 game that's going to be made by Sledgehammer. A bunch of images surfaced yesterday and they were posted all over Reddit and YouTube saying that, you know, these were the leaked images for this new COD. The post on Reddit and the imager files showing all the images and all the YouTube videos that people have been making, they haven't had any troubles with Activision. Like Activision's not coming after anybody and having anything taken down. And that would be, of course, a huge tell to let us know that this information might be correct. And people are figuring out ways to use that tactic to make Activision take stuff down to make it look legit. And I almost fell for something today, but then I realized what was going on and I want to show you guys it so you don't fall for it too. There are people going around right now on Twitter posting a link to this video that's called the official Call of Duty World War II reveal trailer. The description reads, Call of Duty World War II returns the franchise to its roots on the battlefield of an alternate second world war, delivering fans the classic gameplay that, and then you can't see the rest. When you click on it, it does take you to the video, and it says this video contains content from Activision Publishing Incorporated who has blocked it on copyright grounds. Then you read the title, and it says, Official Call of Duty World War II Reveal Trailer. And most people would think, yeah, this is fake, you know, there's no real trailer in this video, but you look at the title, and it's like, well, maybe this got, you know, taken down because of the title. I've had videos get taken down and flagged and got a copyright strike for just saying the word glitch in the title. And this was from Activision. I mean, they came after me and they didn't even watch the video. If they would have watched the video, they would have seen that there was no glitch in there. I was just talking about glitches. I didn't show any glitches at all. So they will take down videos just because of titles. So I was thinking, oh wow, maybe this is what happened here. Maybe the title really did get flagged and this could be the legitimate name. The guy only had the video up less than 38 minutes and it got taken down. So it's like, yeah, Activision was definitely watching for this type of video. So at this point I was kind of believing it, like, well, maybe this really is the title. And I was like, well, I'm gonna use this program called, you know, YouTube Thumbnail Grabber. It allows me to see the thumbnails that, you know, YouTube you know, deems appropriate for this type of video and, you know, we'll display it as the thumbnail. So when I used the program and grabbed images from the actual video, it's showing Black Ops 3 and then it's showing another image that's unidentified until recently people were able to figure out it's from a game called Enlisted. So it's pretty obvious, yeah, it was never a real trailer, but I know that I've gotten copyright strikes and videos taken down because of titles. So I was thinking maybe that's what it is. Maybe the revealed trailer in World War II is what's getting flagged. Well, it's not. What's actually getting flagged is the video content itself. It's Black Ops 3 and some type of trailer portion they've put in there. It gets flagged by Activision almost immediately. If you do like Shadows of Evil or one of the other trailers from any of the game modes in Black Ops 3, it will get flagged like this. And for those YouTube content creators like myself, we know that if you play multiplayer zombies or campaign, you cannot have any of the intro cutscenes in your video footage or it will get flagged just like this one did. In fact, we just duplicated the same fake and uploaded the Shadows of Evil, you know, intro trailer and almost immediately it shows the same message that it got flagged by Activision and we put in the title, you know, that this was a World War II reveal trailer. So again, there's no proof that World War II is the game title and, you know, the Activision copyright flag here is definitely for the video itself and not the title. And I just wanted to show you guys this in case you like ran across it and you believed it because I almost did, but I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video.